Greetings fellow travelers on this blue-green spaceship we call Earth. This is Tony, your friendly philosopher host of Tony and Casey's American Road Trip. Coming to you from the winding trails of Pilot Mountain. Pilot Mountain in North Carolina, or as the Sora people called it, Jomioki, the Great Guide. And a guide it is, my friends, not just for travelers, but for our thoughts on this journey through nature's classroom. As we ascend this ancient sentinel, let's ponder our place in the grand tapestry of nature and our role as stewards of this magnificent planet. Look around, my friends, the verdant canopy below us, the blue sky above, the very rock beneath our feet. It's all part of a delicate balance, a cosmic dance that has been going on for eons. And we, with our busy lives and our concrete jungles, were a part of it too. The question is, are we moving in harmony with the rhythm or are we stumbling over our own feet? As we hike up this pinnacle, take a deep breath. You can feel the crisp, clean air filling your lungs. It's a gift, you know, these trees, they're not just scenery, they're the planet's lungs breathing in our carbon dioxide, breathing out the oxygen that gives us life. It's a perfect system. Nature's own circular economy. Makes you think about our own economies, doesn't it? What if? What if we could make them as efficient, as waste free as this forest? As we climb, the vista opens up before us, fields and forests stretching to the horizon, rivers snaking through the landscape like silver threads. It's easy to feel small up here, isn't it? But with that smallness comes a great responsibility. Each of us, tiny as we may be in the grand scheme of things, has the power to be a force of destruction or a force of preservation. You know, the Saara people who first named this mountain Jomioki, they understood something we're only now beginning to remember, that we don't own the earth. We're a part of it. We're borrowing it from our children, from their children, and from every generation yet to come. Every step we take, every decision we make, echoes that into the future. As we hike, the climb gets just a little bit steeper. Isn't that just like the challenge we face with sustainability? The easy path has been taken. Now comes the hard work, the uphill battle. But all the view from the top, that's what makes it all worthwhile. Look at how the sunlight dapples the leaves, how the shadows dance across the rocks. Nature wastes nothing. Every ray of sunlight, every drop of rain is used, recycled, repurposed. Imagine if we could mimic that efficiency in our own lives. Solar panels like leaves drinking in the sun, rain barrels capturing every precious drop, gardens on every rooftop, in every lawn, in the side of every highway. As we near the summit, let's pause and listen. Hear that? The rustle of leaves, the 
call of birds, the buzz of insects, nature's own symphony. But there's a fragility to this music. Every species lost is like an instrument falling silent, leaving our world a little less rich, a little less vibrant. At the top, the world spreads out before us like a living map. From up here on Jomioki, you can't see the borders between states, between countries. It's all one earth, one shared home, a tiny blue speck in the nothingness of space. The air we breathe, the water we drink, it doesn't recognize our human divisions. Maybe we need to take a page from nature's book and remember that our own interconnectedness. As we stand here gazing at the far horizon, it's hard not to feel a sense of awe. The vastness of the landscape, the endless sea of trees, it's a humbling reminder of our place in the grand scheme of things. But it's also a call to action. For in that vastness lies our responsibility to preserve, to protect, to ensure that future generations can stand where we stand and feel the same sense of wonder. As we take this walk through nature carrying this expansive view in our hearts, Let's think about the footprints we leave behind. Not just on this trail, but in our daily lives. Every choice we make, what we buy, how we travel, it all leaves a mark. The question is, will our footprints lead to a more sustainable future, or will they be tracks that lead us to the edge? From the heights of Jomioki, our great guide, may this view stay with you, a reminder of the beauty we're striving to protect. May it inspire you to tread lightly, love deeply, and always, always look for ways to harmonize with the great symphony in na nature. Until next time, keep climbing, keep caring, keep conserving. The future is counting on us. 
Our grandkids are counting on us. And Jomioki will be watching, guiding us towards a more sustainable tomorrow. Now, fellow travelers, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Have you visited Pilot Mountain or experienced a similar moment of clarity in nature? Share your stories in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this journey, consider subscribing to join us on future philosophical wanderings. Remember that every comment, every subscription is another step on our shared path towards understanding and preserving our natural world.